Kyle Dubas, you know, I'm going to say it right here. I wasn't familiar with your game. The Pittsburgh Penguins, ladies and gentlemen, are putting themselves in a fantastic spot in this year's 2024. What was I going to call it? A race? Is it really a race? I don't know. The playoff race between the Penguins, the Flyers, the Red Wings, the Capitals, and the New York Islanders. We've made a few videos over the past few days talking about this disaster of a race, but when it comes to the Penguins, they have been storming the gate, knocking on heaven's door saying, hey, wait a minute, guys, let us in. We still have what it takes to make this dance and that we're not dead in the water just yet. Heading into today's game against the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Penguins had roughly a 28% chance of making the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs, but had they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in regulation, their odds would have gone up to 39.1%. And guess what? They ended up doing that. The Penguins beat the Lightning 5-4 in a slobber knocker of a game. It was pretty drastic, it was pretty uncomfortable at times, but it is ultimately a win for Pittsburgh. The Pens had a 4-1 lead heading into the third period, which was eventually tied up by Steven Stamkos on the power play before Michael Bunting sealed the deal in the last six minutes of the game, scoring the 5-4 winner and giving the Pens the win. Michael Bunting is the subject of today's video because what I wanted to do was talk about the trade which sent Bunting to Pittsburgh in the first place and how I was kind of wrong. Kyle Dubas, I'll say it again, I was unfamiliar with your game, man. This was the plan, wasn't it? This was your guy. This has always been a Kyle Dubas guy and now we are seeing why. Michael Bunting, ladies and gentlemen, has 13 points in 16 games with the Pittsburgh Penguins, including multiple extraordinarily clutch goals. It's weird, man. Michael Bunting seems to find this way to score goals in the last few minutes of games in the most dire stretches when they need him the most. He's like Superman. He comes in here and he saves the day. Michael Bunting has been that guy. And sure, you could say that the trade which sent Bunting over to Pittsburgh alongside of a bunch of draft picks and prospects in exchange for one Jake Gensel in Carolina, you could very well say that, yeah, no, Jake Gensel is producing a lot too. He's got 20 points in 13 Carolina Hurricanes games, and he's got 17 points in his last 10. Gensel is a monster, and playing with a team like Carolina, it's allowed him to manifest better results on paper, actually. Michael Bunting was never going to get the same or more assists than Jake Gensel was. That's just unfortunately how it goes. That's the way that he plays. Gensel has 15 assists in his sample here. Michael Bunting only has eight, but the amount of goals scored between the two is the same. And when you talk about just how Bunting has meshed with this team. There's so much good going on here that you could not have seen out of Gensel that it's very easy to say that the Pittsburgh Penguins, in a way, won this trade. They got the guy in Bunting who is going to be sticking around. He's not needing a contract extension right away like Gensel is. Bunting's at 4.5 mil till the end of 2026, so that's a pretty reasonable dollar amount. And you've got all the prospects. Like, this is fine. And when you talk about the Penguins fan reactions to this, I wanted to make this video partly because of the subreddit. Here is the Penguins sub. We won the bunting trade, argue with a wall. I still love Jake Gensel though. Don't get it twisted. Please bring him back. Here are some comments talking about the presence of Michael Bunting and what he brings in comparison to Jake. Bunting is the net front guy that the Pens needed. After that game, it should be clear that Bunting was never meant to be a one-for-one -one replacement for Jake Gensel. This. We haven't had a guy who will stubbornly take 10 cross-checks to the back while setting screens and tipping pucks in since Patrick Hornquist. Ironically, the Penguins tried Jake Gensel in that role, but it quickly fizzled because it's simply not his game and he didn't have the physical stature to endure it long term. Gensel is more of a thinker, sniper, anticipatory player. Bunting is going to get 15 goals a year from rebounds and tips alone. And 
That is an assessment that I'm not going to disagree with. I mean, Michael Bunting had 20 goals back-to-back with the Toronto Maple Leafs because he was doing that, and he almost won himself the Calder Trophy because of it at the ripe old age of 20 million years old. But either way, Bunting, all old jokes aside, is still in a position where he can take this kind of punishment. He can score. He can still force himself to get results despite always being physically battled with in the front of the goal. Win-win trade, Neil for Hornquist 2.0, hopefully the three prospects do more than Nick Spalling. Okay, I'm gonna go out there and say that when it comes to the prospects that were acquired here, I was always a pretty big fan of the Cruz Luciuses and the Vili Koivinens of the world, not to mention the draft picks too. I mean, Vasily Ponomariev getting added there as well, not a bad get. There certainly are some very stable hockey players being added into the Pittsburgh Penguins organization because of this trade, and it just cost them Jake Gensel with 25% salary retained and Ty Smith. So pretty reasonable deal from the Pittsburgh POV, especially when you consider the results. I mean... Not to say that Jake Gensel made the Penguins worse, I mean, he was a point per game player after all, but for some reason, ever since Bunting has come onto the team, ever since he started forming his own, ever since the team started feeling good about themselves again, the Penguins have been winning games like crazy. They have won six in their last seven, and the one game they didn't win was a shootout loss. So they've been getting points like crazy. They beat the Lightning today, Michael Bunting with three points on the game. And now we're talking about this trade in a way that we weren't talking about it back when it was made. I remember the video I made. I was like, yeah, I mean, Michael Bunting, is he really that guy? Is he going to be the Jake Gensel replacement that Kyle Dubas wants him to be? We know Kyle gave him his first opportunity in the NHL with Toronto a few seasons ago. And Kyle Dubas is a very stingy person when it comes to loyalty. Like, he really does believe in doing right by the player and giving the player the right opportunities. And if he likes a guy, he'll stick with it. We had had a ton of memes about the Sue Greyhounds connection with the Toronto Maple Leafs and Kyle Dubas. So seeing him get Michael Bunting was a really quote unquote predictable move. Like not really predictable as in, oh, we were thinking it was going to happen, but like predictable as in like, oh, of course he did. Of course he traded Gensel for Bunting of all people. But now we're seeing why. I think it's looking like both sides have come away feeling like they won the trade at this point. So probably this will be looked at as a fair trade rather than a fleecing. So if you're a Pittsburgh Penguins fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I have been getting some DMs and people tweeting at me, etc., etc., saying, hey, like, make a video on the Penguins. They've been winning games. They've been hot. Kyle Dubas has done this, and Mike Sullivan has taken control of this locker room once again. The guys are buzzing, and they could very well post themselves into the playoffs, beating out teams like Detroit and Washington and Philadelphia because all those teams suck and they're continuously losing games over and over again. It's kind of nuts how that's been what we've been treated to the past few weeks worth of hockey. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the Michael Bunting acquisition a few weeks after it happened? Do you like it a lot more than you initially did? Because for me personally, I'm like, yeah, I did not think this would be as effective for the Penguins as it has been. But Kyle Dubas is going to cook. I was always a fan of the prospects, but Michael Bunting, I didn't believe in all too much, but now, no reason not to, right? So, thoughts in the comment section. Do you share the same sentiments that I do? If you're a Carolina Hurricanes fan, what are your thoughts on hearing how Michael Bunting has been doing? And if you're a Pens fan, what are your thoughts on this trade? And I guess on Gensel as well, because he's been pretty good in Carolina too. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.